Oh, Lamar. How marry you marry when the times is hard. <laughs> Nigga done dropped another diss, bro. Another diss. That's crazy, bro. What they say? Kendrick, hurry up, man. You taking no day. We waited. We drink. We drink. We do it two weeks. Like, shut your bitch ass up. Because guess what? This is this what? Number four? So far, nigga dropped three this week. And like four, five days ago, he just put out Euphoria. This nigga hates this nigga Aubrey, bro. He hates this nigga Aubrey, nigga. We finna get, we finna, you know what I'm saying? Tight shit. I ain't even finna waste no time. <laughs> Let's get straight to it, bitch. On the guy. On the guys, yes, sir. Hey, hey, I'm gonna need y'all to lock the fuck in. God did, you already know. God did, yes, sir. Let's do it. Dead people. Now, take it back, take it back. I see dead people. You see dead people. Hi. Monster Hunter, beat ho, beat bo, any rat nigga, he a free throw, man down. Hold on, he done made a club record too. Oh, he is up. It's Come on now. I'm finna get the police called on me again tonight. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's do it. Bro, did niggas think Kendrick couldn't do this? Like, what the fuck? Did niggas think he couldn't do it? Did niggas think he couldn't do it? Like, what the fuck is we talking about? Did they think he couldn't do it? What the fuck? Hold on, bro. Is it captions for this? I like to look at the lyrics one time, bro. What the fuck? They auto-generated. Oh, my gosh, bro. Check Rick Ross' story after this. Bet. Hold on. Take it back. Hey, monster on the beat, ho. Deep, oh. Any rap, nigga. He a freak, though. Man down. Call out Amber Lambs. Tell him free, bro. Nell a nigga to the cross. He walk around like T-Zo. What's up with these? Your bro? Hey, hey. Is that Drake House? That's Drake House. Is that Drake House? Is that Drake House? Ooh. -wee. Okay. Amber Lambs. Tell him free, bro. Nell a nigga to the cross. He walk around like T-Zo. What's up with these? Your bro? Niggas trying to see Compton. The industry can hate me. Fuck them all in the mama. How many I this nigga went West Coast, bro? He went West Coast. Coast. Stony ass niggas trying to see Compton. The industry can hate me. Fuck them all in the mama. How many ops you really got? I mean, it's too many options. I'm finna pass on this body. I'm John Stockton. Okay. Beat your ass and hide the Bible if God watching. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas. Certify Boogie Man. I'm the one that up to score with him. Walk him down whole time. I know he got some hoe in him. Pull on him. Extort shit. Bully the flow on him. Say Drake. I hear you like I'm young. You better not ever go to cell block one. To any bitch that talk to him and they in love, just make sure you hide your little sister from him. Oh my god, he's violating this nigga, bro. He's violating this nigga. The worst part is that it's a certified bop. It is, bro. Drake house with the sexual registry. That's what it is. That's what, oh, I ain't even auntie. Ooh. Any bitch that talk to him and they in love, just make sure you hide your little sister from him. They tell me Chubb's the only one that get your hemi downs and party at the party playing with his nose now. And Baka got a weird case. Why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. Wop 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 wop. That fuck him up. Ooh, wop, wop, shit. Come on, talk to that nigga, bitch. Talk to that nigga. Talk to that nigga. Party at the party hey, Daisy. With his nose now. And Baka got a weird case. Why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. Wop, 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 wop. Wop, that fuck him up. Wop, 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 wop. I'm going to do my stuff. Okay. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord. And it's probably A minor. Oh, my A minor. Damn. Trying to strike a chord. And it's probably A minor. This nigga's talking to this nigga. Oh my God! Somebody stop him! Somebody stop him! Somebody stop him! Somebody stop him! Oh my God! Fuck him up! I'ma do my stuff. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord? And it's probably a minor. Hey, Osiris, you hear this shit? You hear this? Come on, man. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. I know I can listen to the lyrics on Genius, but I'm I'm listening right now. I'm just listening. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Hmm. 
They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. You think the bay gon' let you disrespect pop, nigga? I think that Oakland show gon' be your last stop, nigga. Mm. Hey, cold foul. I don't know why you still pretending. What is the owl? Bird niggas and bird bitches. Go. The he said, did cold foul? Or what did he say? The bay gon' let you disrespect pop, nigga. I think that Oakland show gon' be your last stop, nigga. They cold foul. I don't know why you still pretending. Okay. What is the owl? Bird niggas and bird bitches. Go. The audience not dumb. Shape the stories how you want. Hey, Drake, they're not slow. Rabbit hole is still deep. I can go further, I promise. Ain't there some be rest that's for bitching? You Malibu most wanted. Ain't no law boy, you ball boy. Fetch Gatorade or something. Since 2009, I had this bitch jumping. You niggas will get a wedgie. Be flipped over your boxes. Well, over your foe. The other vaginal option. Pussy. Pick a better straight Nate posture. Got famous all up in contact. Might write this with a doctor. Tell a pop star, quit hiding. Fuck a caption, won't action. No accident, I'm hands on. He fuck around, get polished. Fuck on Wayne Girl like he was in jail. That's conniving. Then get his face tatted like a bitch apologizing. I'm glad D Rose came home. Y'all didn't deserve him neither. From Alonja down to Central, nigga better not speak on Serena. And your homeboy needs subpoena. That predator moving flocks. That name gotta be registered and placed on neighborhood watch. I lean on you niggas like another line of walk. Yeah, it's all eyes on me and I'ma send it up the park. Hey, put the Ooh, he on some West Coast shit. This shit is amazing. Oh my god. And listen, bro. I ain't even being biased cuz that shit Drake dropped last night was incredible work, bro. Marvelous work. He was on Kendrick ass, but this nigga Kendrick can't be stopped. He can't be stopped. Everybody on Kendrick dick. Oh man, this oh, it's too Oh, he's just oh, I don't understand this shit. Oh, this shit ass. Everybody on Drake dick cuz he making shit that's catchy. Kendrick's straight, straight. He can do it all, bro. He can deliver the bars. He can get the, he can execute the technicalities, nigga. He can go straight head up. Nigga, to drop the banger. Nigga, drop the banger. I'm catching all it. Bro, come on, bro. He <laughs> on ass. And he on some West Coast shit. Nigga, fuck is you talking about, nigga? Pina, that predator moving flax. That name got to be registered and placed on neighborhood watch. I lean on you niggas like another line of walk. Yeah, it's all eyes on me and I'm going to send it up the pot. Mm. Put the roll label on me, I'm going to get them dropped. Mm. Sweet chin music and I won't pass the ox. Mm. How many stocks do I really have in stock? Mm. One, two, three, four, five, plus five. Mm. Devil is a lie. He is 69. God, I freaky ass niggas. Nigga. Bro, my God. Hey, boy, this shit made me want to bang on the nigga. Bro, I ain't even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. This shit made me want to throw something up on God. This shit made me want to throw up something. <laughs> I'm going to throw up something, nigga, while I listen to that bit. Like, I ain't even bullshit. I swear to God. Hey, hey. <laughs> this shit made me want to throw up something. I ain't going to lie. I won't pass the ox. Hey, how many stocks do I really have in stock? Hey, one, two, three, four, five, plus five. Hey, devil is a lie. He is 69. God, hey, freaky ass niggas need to stay their ass inside. Hey, roll their ass up like a fresh pack of Zon. Hey, mm, city is mm, back up. It's mm, a must. We mm, outside. Hey. Somebody need to crip walk this bitch. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You they feel me? Us? <laughs> they not like us. 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 Bitch. Once upon a time, all of us was in chains. Homie still double down, calling us <laughs> some slaves. Atlanta was the mecca, building railroads and trains. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They not like us. They not like us. Once upon a time, all of us was in chains. Mm -hmm. Homie still double down, calling us some slaves. Mm -hmm. Atlanta was the mecca, building railroads and trains. Bear with me for a second. Let me put y'all. Heard that, heard that, heard that. Homie still double down, uh, calling us some slaves. Because Drake said, you rapping like you're trying to free the slave in the last shit. You know what I'm saying? It don't go well with the allegations that, you know what I'm saying? He throwing against that nigga head about this nigga trying to fit in. You turn around and call niggas some slaves. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Turn the song up. Nigga, I got it loud as fuck. It's like 80%. I'm, nigga, I'm allowed to with the muff. Nigga, no, open your ears, nigga. I know some slaves. Atlanta was the mecca building railroads and trains. Bear with me for a second. Let me put y'all on game. Okay. The settlers was using town for. Wait, wait, wait. Atlanta was the mecca what? Was in chains. Homie still double down, calling us some slaves. Atlanta was the mecca building railroads and trains. Bear okay. with me for a second. Let me put y'all on game. The settlers was using town folk to make them richer. Fast forward 2024. You got the same agenda. You run to Atlanta when you need a check balance. Let me break it down for you. This the real nigga challenge. You call future when you didn't see the club. Mm -hmm. What little baby help you? Get your lingo up. What 21 get your first street cred? Mm -hmm. Thug makes you feel like you a slime in your head. Mm -hmm. What Crable said you can be from north side. What 2 Chain say you good, but he lied. You run to Atlanta when you need a few dollars. No, you're not a colleague. You a fucking. Them all, them niggas all from L them niggas all from Atlanta. Them niggas all from Atlanta. The fuck was that?
Them niggas all from Atlanta. You a slime in your head. Hey, what Cravo said, you can be from North Side. What Two Chain say, you good, but he lied. You run to Atlanta when you need a few dollars. No, you not a colleague. You a fucking colonizer. The family matter and the truth for the matter. He was God's plan to show y'all the liar. Mm. He a fan, he a fan, he a fan. Mm. He a fan, he a fan, he a freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. Hey, 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 run for your life. Hey, 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 run for your life. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. Hey, 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 run for your life. Hey, 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 run for Let your life. Let me hear you say, O V Ho. Say, O V Ho. Then stab this way. Step that way, okay. then step this way, step uh, that way. Uh, Are you my friend? Are we liking? Then step this way, step that way, then step this way, step that way. Hey bro, this nigga, this nigga. This nigga done went and made a whole a whole banger. Niggas was Niggas was all on dick talking about, oh my gosh, this nigga done went and made a whole banger. A whole banger on these hoe ass niggas. Boy, this shit don't make no sense, bro. <laughs> Think it done made a whole banger. The first diss EP. Ain't it though? Niggas are like, they got like four, five of them, don't he? What the fuck? <laughs> don't he? What the fuck, nigga? Hold on, bro. I ain't even done. Where that shit at? Meet the Grimms. Not like us. Here we go. Oh my God, bro! Hold on, bro. Yeah, we here with it, bro. We finna goddamn. Uh, let me read this. I, you know what I'm saying? Read as much as I, you know what I'm saying? I see dead people now. What was that all about? In the process of threatening Drake's life in his career, uh, Kendrick references the popular 1999 movie The Sixth Sense. And just this is the second time he did. Okay, okay, okay. Yup, type shit. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Verse one. What the fuck? This is DJ Mustard Senior. I know that already. Spoken about YG. Okay, you probably recognize from other songs. Okay, that's that's nothing important. No, 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 no. I know who Debo is, bro. What the fuck? Any rap nigga here? All right, that ain't shit. That ain't shit. He making did. Hold on. This be a reference to the viral video of Drake saying, "What do you mean? Breathe, breathe." Which became viral meme around TikTok. What? <clears throat> what do you mean, breathe, breathe? Don't tell me to breathe. I can't be. Yo, bring me a shot. Bring me a shot. Okay. I didn't know what the fuck that was. You're right, right, right. <laughs> YG was the homie. Man, it, you know it. You know YG. It ain't none of his business, but you know goddamn well what's going to happen. Come on, bro. Uh, 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 okay, type shit, type shit. The other nigga to the cross, he, uh, he walking around like Tizo. Tizo touchdown? Kendrick threatens to crucify Drake. Christ crucified, I know about, I know about that. Kendrick compares, okay, yep, yep. Tizo touchdown, famously wears nails in his hair. Oh, ooh. Jabroni, that's some, that's some The Rock shit. Born and raised in Compton, Kendrick is pointing out his frustration with Drake's constant uh, antagonizations. <clears throat> that he ain't scared of, uh, coming to his hometown. Uh, that might be a mistake. Uh, Drake already mentioned that he got more love than Kendrick and Compton. I honestly, that shit was cap. I don't even know why he nigga think he nigga think he Eminem versus MGK, bro. Get more love in the city than you from. Like, um, I don't know about all that, bro. That's one, hey one thing I'm gonna say, bro. If I ever was to like, I know I'm from I know I'm from Pontiac, but nigga, I I represent the whole mitten, bitch. If I was to ever, <laughs> if I was to ever go get, come up. And get into it with a nigga. And niggas let that nigga walk around Michigan just on some cool shit. Especially Metro Detroit, nigga. What? Bro, oh, yeah. I, imagine this nigga going, like, I ain't saying I want anything bad. It'd be crazy, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? This nigga go to, if he go to Compton and shit, just, <laughs> it'd be wicked work. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, anyway, shortly after uh, taking down his Lamar diss track, Taylor made freestyle. Drake took the Instagram. Yeah, he always on Instagram, bro. Go a long way. 2015, Drake was featuring the game track 100. They shoot a music video with Compton, California. In the video game, mm -mm. wait, wait. In the video, Compton based rapper is showing Drake around his hometown. That was in a music video? Well, I don't remember that. Kendrick got keys to Compton. 
You feel me? Like, boy, you ain't finna go to Compton. Like, come on, bro. Situation from Euphoria. Can you, hold on. The industry can hate me. Fuck them. Fuck them all in a mama type shit. Kendrick unapologetically declares his intention to confront Drake, regardless of industry alliances. He acknowledges the potential re repercussions, even the risk of being blackballed, but is proving I, Kendrick can't be black. Nah, nah, I, I doubt that. And Kendrick together would shut the whole uh his whole soul down. That wouldn't happen though. He don't get Soldier Boy treatment. <laughs> Come on, bro. Or that's fucking with him. Fuck you niggas and fuck the industry too. Okay. His mindset portraying his choice as a catalyst for uh, personal development amidst adversity. Okay, 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 okay. How many how many options you really got? <laughs> I mean, it's too many options. This is a double entendre referring to the uh, mass amount of people who dislike Drake, as well as Drake allegations of being a sex trafficker. Options referring to women which Drake can choose from. Hmm. This comes from the unverified claims which were made by the TikToker Eileen's Garden, who went viral for exposing Drake's alleged private tender. Ooh, I'm at, ooh, ooh, private tender. Now, hold on, bitch. Hold on. We might have to, we, 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 let's look at that type shit. Mm -mm, where that private tender at, nigga? Where that's at? Participate. No minors. Now nah, we gonna find that, bro. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, yup, 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 yup. Everything I'm about to tell you is 100% true, and this information came from me, came to me from one of the crew members on Drake's tour. This was the, uh, the guy who did all the tech stuff, and he told me that Drake has an employee whose job is to go around town looking for super, super hot girls. He finds the girls, and then he interviews them. All, blah, 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 blah. And out of all the girls that he interviews, he picks the one that he thinks is the best. Then he drives her to Drake's place. Drake has sex with her, and then he drives her home. So basically, Drake has his own private Tinder. Mm. And didn't Drake say something in the other song about... No, no, no. What's that the other song? He said basically something about Chubbs know him best. Like, he know what I like or some shit like that. I don't think that was the other song, but it was one of his songs, bro. Finna pass on this body. I'm John Stockton. Now, I'm not a big sport guy. I'm going to be honest. Kendrick references NBA basketball legend John Stockton the Utah Jazz who holds the record for the most assists. Oh. 15,806? Damn. Nigga, that nigga ain't a ball hog at all, is he? Um, more than that, niggas been saying this beef is bigger than uh them at this point when it comes to Pac's legacy. <laughs> they own his ass. Nigga, Freaky Squeezer is crazy. Starting to famously play much of his career with, uh, okay, 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 with Carl Malone, who's notoriously known for impregnating a third. Kendrick is, ooh. Beat your ass and hide the Bible with God watching, okay? <laughs> okay, uh, this, this, this is heating up. Come on, stop doing this, bro. Load the lyrics up, bro. Yeah. Hello. Uh, hey, Cammy, how you doing? How you doing? Bro, can we load the fucking shit? Whatever, bro. Who cares, bro? Next. This annotation is unreviewed. Don't care. Editing. Here, Kendrick is saying that sometimes you have to pop out and show people what you're really about. This is a continuation of the previous line, which is about uh, the Bible and God watching. As God himself was known for popping out or showing himself to humans when they were doing something wrong. Okay. Uh, scolding them or destruction of entire cities. Okay, type shit. So, with this, so I kind of understand what this line means, even though it won't fucking load. Certified boogeyman. I'm, I'm the one that up the score with him. This line is from Kendrick calls back line Drake's Taylor made freestyle diss. Okay, this line came in section of the song which Drake used an AI version of Tupac Shakur's voice to go Kendrick into a response. You're supposed to be the boogeyman. Go do what you do. Okay. <clears throat> the idea of being a boogeyman alludes to the fact that no one wanted to come up against Kendrick type shit. Okay. Walk him down the whole time. I know he got some hoe in him. This line is a double entendre. Not only does Kendrick continue to emasculate uh, Drake in his bar, but also means he doesn't have much dignity and commit sexual immor immoralities against women. This was elaborated further on his previous diss. He hate black women, hypersexualize them with kinks and of an info fetish. Okay, type shit. I hear you like him young. Okay, uh, can, mm, accusations of younger women. Back in 2018, there was a lot of discussion about Drake. Yeah, yeah, this this was kind of weird. I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of weird. <clears throat> it was kind of weird. He's like, you like friends with this little ass girl. 
It's kind of weird. It is kind of weird. Like, being a fan is one thing. Because this shorty from Stranger Things, if, if I'm not mistaken, that's 11, right? So, being a fan is one thing. But being friends, though? It's kind of like, friends? And, I, and then, granted, right? Friends is weird. Like, if it's it's cool if he, like, hit her up and was like, hey, man, like, if he DM'd her or something, like, hey, I'm a big fan, I like what you're doing over there, uh, whoop de whoop de whoop keep up the good work, whoop de whoop de whoop That's one thing. Because I ain't gonna lie, some people be acting like talking to, talking to people younger than you, period, is weird. I don't think so. I think if you want to give somebody their flowers, right, if he just hit her up on some cool shit, like, hey, I like what you're doing, you know what I'm saying, I'm a big fan, da 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 even if it was in DMs, like da 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 da, keep up the good work. I feel like that's harmless. But for them, they have a friendship. Like mm, mm, it's kind of weird. Like you know what I mean? That's kind of weird. I ain't gonna lie, cause I'm not trying to be friends with nobody under the age of twenty. Damn near. <laughs> like I ain't gonna hold you up. I'm gonna be honest. Um, this all, and I'm twenty four, nigga. So. Type shit. This also the one Millie, just 14 at the time, met Drake at his concert in Brisbane and posted about it on Instagram, calling him fantastic and a great friend. Uh, their close bond raised questions with some of the, with some questioning the appropriateness of the relationship. Okay. That's crazy as fuck. He started kissing a 17 year old after finding out her age. He was like, 17? Why you look like that? You think. Why he kissing fans at the at the at the Woot Wham in the first place? I don't know, bro. Wait, what? It, hold on. But you thick. Look at all this. I don't know if I should feel guilty or not, but I have fun. I like the way your breasts feel against my chest. Oh, this nigga wildin'. Now I heard about this, but I didn't know he said all that. Oh, come on, Drizzy. Come on, Drizzy. Drizzy. He Canadian, did he? That's fucking crazy. He also took a sixteen year old. <laughs> I heard about that. He took her on a date. You would pull the clip up. Go ahead and send it this way. Uh, 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 my. No, no, I think I seen that, though. He was on stage. What the fuck? The prison system can be admitted. You better not go to cell block one. Yeah, I, this is self-explanatory. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, this is self-explanatory. I don't need to read that one. To any bitch that talked to him and they in love, just make sure you hide your little sister from him. That's self-explanatory. Don't need to read that one. Uh, they tell Chubb, They tell me Chubb's the only one to uh, get your hand-me-downs. Self-explanatory uh, Then he had the party playing with his nose Now self-explanatory But I'm gonna still read this Because it got pictures <laughs> Look at that shit It's crazy And it's like Can you continue the theme Of the OVO members In the United States mm -hmm. Drake's artist and songwriter Party Next Door Has a cocaine problem It can be found at their parties In the somewhere In the somewhere Railing lines this can ultimately allude to the listeners uh see that blah, 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 to the listeners see his lifestyle is foolish. Damn party next door be doing crack. Damn nigga think it's the eighties. That's crazy. <clears throat> Damn, my nigga be doing that coke, that cocaina. It's crazy. Abaka got a weird case. Why is he around? Travis nigga named Savory. Oh, that nigga dangerous off bills, nigga. Baka not known as Baka not nice nigga last name Savory <clears throat> was previously a former security that nigga need to be on the watch list with that last name bitch what the fuck <laughs> previously a, a former security guard who signed with Drake's record label an imprint of Warner Bros okay in uh 2014 Baka was arrested and charged with forcing forcing a 22 year old woman into prostitute damn and taking her money this led to Drake mentioning Baka's uh, released from jail 2015 track Know Yourself I might declare it a holiday As soon as Baka Get back on the road When Baka got out of jail There was a lot of Different paths He could He could have took And he decided To focus on music K Kendrick's That's crazy What the fuck No wonder he made that album What album What album What album What album Drake and his team Crazy right now Album cover What album cover now I understand why people said that Megan might have been dissing Drake with the Megan's Law line. Mmm. I don't know, but I ain't never heard shit about Baca. I really don't be in nobody's business, bro. I don't know nothing about these niggas. I just I just listen to the music. <laughs> I'm I'm be honest. Uh certified lover with certified pedophiles. I mean, it's pretty self explanatory. 
Uh, certified lover boy, Howard Kendrick Drake, not a lover boy, said a pedophile. Drake, Kendrick calling Drake pedophiles in accusations of grooming. 2010, there was a video circulating around. This is highlighted. Let's, uh, surviving Drake. Oh. Drake kissing and feeling an underage girl at Denver concert. No. And then he found out she was underage later. She said it. 17. Ugly eye. No, she, why'd I say that? I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. When was this? 2010, they said. They said this was 2010, and she was 17, 2000. She older than me. Yeah, ugly ass. What the fuck? Nigga said, yeah. She ain't even thick. Bro, why is nobody concerned? Jake! Oh my gosh. Jake! Jake! Oh my god! Jake! Drake! 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 What the fuck? Drake! You dumbass nigga! Oh my god! I'm, I'm in shambles, nigga! I can't believe this nigga! I can't believe this nigga! Drake! What the fuck? Oh my god, bro! He gonna kiss her anyways! Drake, hell nah, bro. Oh my, why, 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 die, fuck him up. Why, why, why? All right, next. Now nigga went west coast, bro. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord? It's probably a minor. That's crazy, bro. Because I can't believe he did that, Auntie. What the fuck? I know it's striking the chord. Me, no, wait, wait. Okay, I, I yep. Posting memes about Kendrick, but especially his diss track, telling me freestyle where you da 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 da. Kendrick, we need you, the West Coast savior. Why did he do that? We can't. Say. Kendrick uh, plays the words A minor. Obviously, we know what that means, bro. Yep. Okay, they not like us. Okay, here in the chorus, Kendrick Lamar inter interpolates uh, the finalizing lyrics of Pusha T's December 2015 intro song, "Darkest Before Dawn." Mm -mm, bitch, go back. Fuck. It's probably a minor. They not like us. Where he say that? Where he say that? Where he say that? Where he say that? Where, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. Pusha T said it, so that's that's the point. Anyways. <clears throat> The comment about how Drake and the people he surrounds himself are not like us, saying that anybody that Kendrick surrounds himself with would not replicate the behaviors that he refers to within the track. A contrast of PG Lang and Top Dog Entertainment. Well, OVL Sound, in terms of a moral fiber value, mobile fiber values. Mm -hmm. And then that nigga Faux Bats just get signed to, you know, the. And I'm fucking damn. He just got signed to uh, OVO. It's a bad look. I'll sever that contract tomorrow. Fuck no, boy. Fuck no. Kendrick gonna ask anybody that associated with Drake weird as fuck. Dog, just got signed to OVO Sound. OVO sound. I would have been like, hey, bro, about that contract. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. I ain't gonna APM. Do for your fucking nails. Tight shit, okay? Let me see. 
uh, from others. The subject came with medical. Okay. Story hour. Yeah, okay. He fucked him up with that one. Confused, always felt you weren't black enough. I, ooh, oh, yeah, push a T was on his ass, though. What the fuck? Damn. Yeah, man. Fuck. Damn, is, is Drake another Diddy? Is he? Wait a minute. Hold on. No, 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 no. Rick Ross is champagne. Oh, damn, everybody on his ass about him, like, like this, you know what I'm saying? This little white boy shit. His white Jewish mother's ethnic heritage and his suburban upbringing, linking back to the time, uh, to the line. But Kendrick pointing out Drake's childhood was unlike any of black Americans he attempts to fit in with. Alongside this, we can also analyze the track cover art, which he's, which sees an unknown white man's yearbook photo that quickly became. That's an actual nigga. I thought this was a, uh, uh, <laughs> this an actual nigga. I thought this was a, I thought this was just like some shit that somebody edited. This is an actual person. See, that might be Drake real daddy. Ain't that a bitch? A nigga uncle's um. Okay. Ah, skip one. You think the bag gonna let you disrespect Pac, nigga? That, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, nigga, what you really think? Like, the Bay Area is a coastal area in Northern California. I just learned this, uh, y'all, not too long ago. Auntie and, and Auntie and, and Halvin taught me <laughs> that the Bay is not the same. It's, I'm not from there, bitch. I'm from Michigan. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, uh, let's see. The Bay Area is coastal in North. Uh, okay, I just read that. Uh, Tupac spent time here developing his skill as an artist, working with Digital Underground type shit. Drake and his tailor made freestyle user AI voice at Tupac at this Kendrick completely disrespected Pac and his estate. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know why he did that bullshit. Fuck wrong with you playing with Pac like that, boy. Like, I don't. I don't know what the fuck going on with this nigga, bro. I thought it was just a meme, too. That shit wicked. Kendrick continues to use his uh, line about Drake disrespecting Pac by using his voice through AI. While Tupac was originally born in Harlem, um, East Harlem, to be exact, uh, he spent a significant part of his childhood in Oakland, California. Yep. Uh, Kendrick suggests that Drake has offended the West Coast irrevocably. Damn, I ain't heard that word in a minute, nigga. Irrevocably. And the next time he comes to, to do a show in Oakland, it'll be his last stop. A.K.A. someone will murder him. It's crazy. Pac did. Mm. Nah, I can't read that because that's just a bit disrespectful. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I can't stand for that. Bullshit. Anyways, uh, it'll be his last stop. A.K.A. someone will murder him. Drake, um, mm. Drake also has a show scheduled in Oakland, May 18th. Y'all think this show gonna get canceled? I think this show will get canceled or what? <laughs> oh my God. May eight. Wait, that's in two weeks. That's like two weeks from now. Ooh, that be finna get canceled. That be finna get canceled. Oh, he finna cancel it for sure. If he cancel it, it I already know it's up. If he cancel it, that's that's an indicator right there that is really up for that nigga, bro. If he cancel that show, if anything happened to where he can't go to that show, that's an indicator right there that is really up for that nigga, bro. He might be banned from Cali, low key. He might be banned from Cali, low key. Because if y'all think for while all these other niggas is grown ass men that's minding their business, right? And they got really nothing to do with them. If y'all really think, if I know, listen, if I know the West Coast, I know that these niggas is going to side with Kendrick, bro. If they got to pick, you think the West Coast going to turn on their own? Fuck no. Fuck no. If I know anything about the West Coast, I know. Friends are not with Drake. They ain't fit. No way. If anything, they might try to prevent shit from taking from going so far, but they not turning on Kendrick, bro. If I know anything about the West Coast, it's not happening. Especially with Kendrick being tied in with blood gang members. And most of that, most of the people that fuck with him being blood gang members, bro. The game. YG. Like, come on. Like, come on, bro. Stop playing. It, it might be up for this nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Not gonna lie, bro. Them niggas invented killing rappers. You actually might be incorrect. I think the first rapper, I think the first rapper beef that resulted in somebody dying actually happened in New York. I think that happened in New York. Low key, I think that happened in New York. I could be mistaken, but I think that happened in New York. I ain't gonna lie. But um, did Cole, did Cole file? Did Cole file? I don't know why you still pretending. What is the owl? Bird niggas and burnt bitches. Damn. The Isle is Kendrick uh, referring to blah, blah, blah. The Isle is The Isle Kendrick is referring to Is OVO Isle 
uh, standing for October's very own, yep, uh, is a record company slash label owned by Drake. Okay. I didn't really need, oh, in Greek mythology, Athena owned an owl, and Adonis is the son of Drake, which might indicate a similarity in that regard. Proposed suggestion. The owl could also symbolize Molik. I think I'm saying that right, which in recent culture has taken the image of an owl. Molik is heavily associated with harming children, which Drake alleges OVO are doing on his record. Drake alleged that? Oh shit, my uh, recording stopped because uh, I ain't got no, I ain't got no storage. Nah, 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 we gotta continue that recording, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, hold on, let me delete that. No, not only did it stop, I can't even use that recording now. I'm gonna have to take this whole. I'm gonna have to take this whole vibe then. Fuck it. Let me look at that. Let me look at that. Let me look at that. I was gonna upload it tonight too, bro. But I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do that after the stream is over. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, I can't use this recording now. Right. That's what happened when that happened, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Use Google Drive? No, I'm straight. I'm going to just take the VOD. Hold on, it's loading something. Is it going to work? Nope. Damn. Goddamn, 47. Know what I can do? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going to. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Oh, shit. Hold on, y'all. 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 What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Get rid of that. 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 Get rid of that now. Get rid of that now. Uh, okay. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna end the stream just so I could um uh, take the vod as its own little thing. I'm gonna download it and then I'm gonna goddamn type shit. Get the ten terabyte. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get one of the bitches. I'm gonna get one of the bitches. But let's continue though. 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 Anyways. The audience is not dumb. This could be a reference to uh, Meet the Grams track from when Drake revealed that Drake had a secret daughter. The audience in question who saw this started to investigate the final clues that could lead to Kendrick's uh, Kendrick telling the truth. Eventually, they did. Okay. No, but I, look, look. When I end the stream, y'all just don't go nowhere. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just change the title and start it back up. Um, question who saw this started investigating the clues. Wait, wait, hold on. The audience in question who saw this started to investigate and found clues that could lead to Kendrick telling the truth. Eventually, they did. They did as seen. They did as seen through some posts. Punctuation, nigga. Eventually, they did as seen through some posts from Drake on tw X in 2012, giving hints that he possibly has a daughter. Drake is in denial. I, I heard that that was because it was Aaliyah's birthday or some shit. He, he just po he just tweeted baby girl, and that's it. Leslie's a Haitian woman. He got pregnant. Ooh, hold on. This is a uh, shape stories. How you want a Drake? They not slow. This is a double entendre. Drake has been posting many IG stories saying that he doesn't have a daughter and all around shaping the story in his favor type shit. Okay. Them uh, find Drake possible daughter was finding Drake possible. Okay. Rabbit hole is deep. I can go further. I promise. When a rabbit hole is a final self situation. Yeah, I know what that means. Okay. Ain't that something B-Rad stands for bitch And you Malibu most wanted hmm? Malibu being a popular city in California Known for celebrity homes Kendrick is saying that Drake is wanted in Malibu After he dissed the West Coast Kendrick also refers to the movies Malibu, Malibu most wanted liken, liken, Likening Drake to the main character Brad Gluckman That's an ugly ass last name Who attempts to emulate black culture By becoming a rapper under the name B Rad, mm. Kendrick plays on this name in order to call. It. Okay, Kendrick uses the comparison to emphasize his thoughts to Drake's. Okay, okay. Two thousand nine, I had this bitch jumping. She was just like Drake was true. I didn't even see that weak ass movie. Uh, Kendrick Lamar's first EP came out in two thousand nine, and ever since Kendrick has been a big inspiration to many people. Okay, she was in it. In his 2009 self-titled EP, Kendrick Raps, she listening to Drake, and all I can say is, damn, these niggas that, these niggas that much better than me. Is he saying, like, Drake, like, is these niggas that you think better? I don't know these. Um, 
You niggas get a wedgie and be flipped over your boxes. This is referring to a stereotypical action of giving someone wedgies. Kendrick uses an MCM fight. He's bullying Drake, okay? What OVO for the other vaginal option? OVO is a brand started by Drake that stands for October very own. But Kendrick uses. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh. They get better straighten their posture, straighten up. Okay. Got famous all up in Compton. That's self explanatory. You don't need a breakdown for that. Might write this for the doctrine. Okay. Tell the pop star quit hiding. Fuck a caption, won't action. Um, at the start of the beef, after Kendrick was featured on Like That, Drake, the pop star, was the one trying to a tr was the one trying to a coral. To coral a response, I read them reversed. Trying to coral a response uh, from Kendrick in, on push-ups and Taylor made freestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was basically rushing that nigga. Now that Kendrick has responded in the form of Euphoria 616 in LA, Meet the Grims, Kendrick is eagerly waiting for Drake's response to his various allegations against him. In Family Matters, Drake suggested that he's going on vacation and that the beef was over and called in his favor. He also been long awaiting this vacation. I'm going on vacation now. Hope next time y'all planning right. After dropping for All the Dogs, Scary Hours Edition. He mentioned on stories about my he mentioned on stories about my brother that he walked back in the studio unable to lead a rap game alone. I don't give a fuck about that. Kendrick is taunting Drake, telling him to stop posting on Instagram, stop writing captions, and hop back into action. Drake's only response to uh Meet the Graham so far has been his Instagram story of him asking the people to find his dog. Okay, 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 okay. No accident. I'm hands on. They fuck around and get polished. Kendrick may be referring to Drake's recent infatuation with getting his nails polished, most likely due to association with rappers such as Lil Yachty. Uh, Drake first did uh, did so during a stream for his betting company, Steak, and was immediately clowned by the hip-hop world. Uh, he even showed off a pink nail polish job in, in an infamous Instagram story the night before his first show. All of them, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was on his ass behind that shit. I remember that. Fucked on Wade girl while he was in jail. That's conniving. Kendrick references Drake sleeping with Lil Wayne's girl while Weezy was in prison, which KDOT deems as ex extremely immoral and disrespectful to do to one's mentor. Weezy spent eight months on, on Rikers Island prison in 2010 uh, due to gun charges. And in Wayne's Gone to November memoir, he claimed that Drake slept with his girlfriend. Why don't I know? What the fuck? I ain't finna read all this, but hold on. No, nah, fuck that, fuck that. Let me just read this. What the fuck? He claimed that Drake slept with his girlfriend at the time, who was believed to be named Tammy Torres. He talked about it in an interview too. I ain't know that. Uh, Wayne later mentioned on this track how to hate. And when I go and I went when I went, when I went to jail, she fucked my niggas. Damn. Is they not cool no more? Drake and, Drake and Wayne ain't cool no more, or or I don't know. I don't know. I don't be keeping up with these niggas for real. Lil Wayne famous. They cool. Lil Wayne famously has uh, many face tattoos. I don't know what he's helped. Um, he's helped them become more mainstream. With face tattoos having been unpopular. Two years after Wayne complained to TMZ that Drake had gotten with Wayne's girlfriend while he was on Rikers, Drake revealed that he had a tattoo of Wayne's face on his arm. Oh, 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 damn. Kendrick's reference to uh, DeMar DeRozan, also known as D-Rose, is, uh, is a basketball player from Compton who also used to play for the Toronto Raptors, a team associated with Drake. Kendrick appears to be suggesting that D-Rose is an amazing player in which the Raptors did not fully appreciate his abilities. Uh, it's better that he left Drake's team for something better in life, Okay. From Alonzo down to Central, nigga better not speak on Serena. Kendrick uh, warns Drake not to disrespect Serena Williams again. She from Cali, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, particularly in Los Angeles. Uh, as like Kendrick, she was raised in Compton. That's right. Uh, Alondra Boulevard is a west is a west east uh, thoroughfare, and Central Avenue is a north south thoroughfare. Both in Los Angeles. Drake and Serena were reportedly romantically involved in 2015, according to TMZ Sports. Uh, where photos surfaced of them spotted kissing in a restaurant. Okay. You said the interview? Ah. And your homeboy needed need subpoena to, that predators move in flocks. Okay. Kendrick doubles down on his allegation that Drake's a pedophile. 
uh, sex offenders are via Megan's law uh, legally required to be publicly identifiable to the to their uh, local community in the U.S. Uh, this line embodies the cover art of the album. It's a song, not an album. As it displays Drake's one hundred million dollar uh, Toronto mansion photoshopped onto a sex offender app. GPS with very okay. Oh damn! And those are okay. Those are all uh, supposed to signify people that fuck with them. Type shit. Uh, the mansion dubbed the Embassy by Drake was the exact state he suggested would be raided by the FBI for sex crimes in his May 2024 diss track, Meet the Grams. The Embassy about to get raided too. It's only a matter of time. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Hold on. Prior to that, Kendrick called Drake a predator and implied that Drake ran a sex trafficking ring of sorts in his home. And we gotta raise our daughters knowing there's predators like him lurking. It's some weird shit going on and some of these artists are here be here to police it. Uh they street they be streamlining victims all inside their home and calling them tender. Then leak videos of themselves to further push their agendas. Mm. The homeboy needing subpoena. Saini Baka, not nice. Who was arrested? Okay, 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 okay. This subtly similar. This is subtly similar to, to a diss Megan Thee Stallion made her 2024 diss track hiss, where she invoked Megan's law, which that shit was hard as fuck. And I, I just want to say, niggas that think Nikki won that that whole little quarrel between her and Megan are fucking dick suckers. I swear on everything I love. If Nikki would have bodied her, Nikki would have bodied her. But Megan ate her the fuck up. I wish niggas would get the fuck off that weak ass. Get up on your good foot. Get shut. That shit was ass. Like, please, please get the fuck out of here. Like, please get the fuck out of here. Stop playing. Like, like, boy. Anyways, while the diss was widely assumed to be aimed at Nicki Minaj, some believe that the track could also be aimed at Drake. The two had a public feud in 2022 when Drake seemed to make a light of her widely publicized 2020 shooting in the punchline. It should be noted that uh, Kendrick is fond of Megan. And he shouted her out a while back on August 2021's Family Ties. Show my ass. Oh, yeah. Show my ass and take out a class. I can multitask. Show my ass and take out a class. I can multitask like Megan, brother. Tight shit. A lot of niggas didn't catch that line. And I'm like, how? What the fuck? All uh, right. She uh, said one line. And Nikki went on a rant for four days. Oh, God. I was blowing Twitter the fuck up. I'm trying to see if she finna catch this damn cricket. She be staring at him for like 30 seconds before she bite that. You know what, girl? I'm sick of your ass. Anyways, Lean is a substance drug made from cough syrup, Jolly Ranchers, and Sprite. Wadhar is a company that makes a cough syrup. Okay, yep, yep, yep. I already know that. Uh, He has all eyes on me. Yep, 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 yep. I already know that. Kendrick acknowledges the spotlight in 1996 hip hop opus. Uh, all eyes on me. Uh, lies on me by legendary rapper Tupac. Many including um many including Kendrick found it distasteful when Yeah, yeah, that shit was ass. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why he did that weak ass shit. Hold on. Kendrick Voss and Kendrick sitting in the pocket in the afterlife. But the whole label on me, I'm gonna get him dropped. It's likely an extension of uh the Tupac's the Tupac shout out as Tupac famously beef with all of Bad Boy Entertainment in the 1990s. Because you made it clear that he wants to sync Drake's OVO sound label with the same passion type shit. Why the fuck do they keep me? DC with that bit raid of six. Appreciate you, my boy. How was the goddamn stream? Tight shit. Where was I at? I just fucking lost my. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sweet Chin Music. I'm going to pass it off. We already know about the Sweet Chin Music type shit. He won't pass all his meaning the songs won't change under Kendrick's control. It was Kendrick's implying he would not stop his barrage of diss tracks toward the, okay. This is, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So he about to keep on going. Jesus Christ. How many stocks do I really do I really have in stock? Ascertainment to the previous line. Okay. Kendrick is answering the question. Okay, how many stocks are really having stocks? Stocks being stocks being diss tracks, and Kendrick is answering that he has ten. Oh, so he's saying he got ten of them bitches. Ooh. Okay, bet. Go get you some eats. Devil is a lie. He's six nine guy. Okay. 
Six nine. Cause the okay, he, Toronto is known as the six or some shit. But what is the nine? Okay, let me see. One of Drake's most common nicknames is the Six God. Referring to his hometown, Toronto. Here, Kendrick adds the a nine at the end, forming a six nine. A uh, number most commonly known, or most commonly used to refer to as a sex position in which one of the participants is upside down. This might be a reference to Lucifer, the fallen angel, or an upside down god. However, this, he could also be referring to Takashi Six Nine, who played uh, in 2015. Played that was in 2015. Oh no, that was in 2015. I thought it was talking about when he snitched. Yes, uh, a felony count of use of a child in sexual performance. Um, okay. This might also be a reference to Rick Ross's twenty thirteen track The Devil is a Lie with six studio album. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, nigga say he got ten of them bitches. That shit crazy. All of us in change homies to double down calling us slaves. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Here, Kendrick reflects on Africans being enslaved by Americans and, and being put in change in order to involuntarily uh, complete tasks such as building railroads and trains. As Kendrick states, a lot of slavery happened in Southern America, uh, such as Atlanta. Kendrick states that uh, the purpose of these slave owners was simply for uh, the slaves to earn more money. Uh, Kendrick compares this to Drake collaborating with a plethora of African-American artists from Atlanta in order to increase his street credibility and earn him more money by tapping into a new demographic. Kendrick has commented on Drake's blackness and racial insecurities throughout this feud, and by comparing them to white slave owners is another way of undermining his blackness. This may also be a response to these lines of off Drake's previous diss track, Family Matters. Okay. The settlers was using uh, town folk to make them richer, okay. I mean, Kendrick would never be dissed again after this. This is Kendrick first beef for real. Low key, I mean, you could count control, but that wasn't really beef. That was more like competition. I can't. I don't think Kendrick ever beef with a nigga before. I think this is the first time. And no, 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 I'm lying. Him and Big Sean, him and Big Sean was in, but he ain't really beef with Big Sean though. They, they was just, you know, what I'm saying, talking shit about each other back and forth. You know, this might be Kendrick first beef. No, I wouldn't consider him and Big Sean beef, and they just didn't like each other. But this is like legit beef. Like, yeah, niggas ain't fucking with die after this. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> niggas ain't fucking with die after this. Fast forward twenty twenty four, you got the same agenda. Kendrick compares uh, Drake sellers colonizing American slaves. Okay, okay, okay. You went to Atlanta where you need a check balance. I mean, that's pretty self explanatory. Basically, he's saying he leaned on Atlanta rappers when he, you know what I'm saying, want to make a hit. Damn near. Um, You call it future when you didn't see the club. Which is crazy. Because Drake was also talking shit about future. Talking about your first number one, I had to put it in your hand type shit. But Kendrick like, nigga, you call future anytime, you, you know what I'm saying? When you can't make a club banger, you need to call future. Nigga, that's crazy. Damn. Okay, hold on. I don't even need to read this. I, this is self-explanatory. All right. This picture kind of kind of fucking crazy. Anyways. Little baby help you get your lingo up. Be right back. All right, bet. Can you just hear that Drake was hanging with little baby just to get his slang game slang game up and that the use of slang is authentic and that it had to be schooled in the lingo to use it. I hate when people try to force um, hood lingo. That shit is so corny. Um, use it. This is also a clear reference uh, to what Kendrick said in his previous diss track, especially Euphoria type shit. Okay, type shit. 70 people in here. Type shit. Um, 21 give you far street cred. Drake has heavily collaborated with 21 Savage, whom is considered to a uh, bona fide gangster uh, rapper amongst uh, listeners. The last few years, uh, sharing many songs dating back since Drake's 2016 sneaking, uh, and even share uh, share a joint project together. Her loss. Thug made you feel like you were slimy your head. Quavo said you could be from Northside. Two Chain said you good, but he lied. 
uh, illusions. Thug also been associated with slime from lyrical references to rumors of Thug uh, leading to the K. Quavo saying about Northside as a part of Migos to change future Drake. I don't lie. Oh, maybe stretch. Together, these lines could be t- could be telling a story. Uh, through Young Thug, Drake believed he was too slime or a gang member. Quavo's okay. That's pretty much it. The rest of it is fucking self-explanatory. That's crazy as fuck. My recording got fucking uh got fucking sacked. So I'm gonna just take this bitch straight off the vibe, bro. Kendrick, all I gotta say is Kendrick on his ass. Kendrick on his ass. He on his ass. Anybody saying Kendrick not up right now is just dick sucking, like literally tickling balls and, and gurgling dick. That's all I gotta say. And I'm and I'm not being biased, bro. While I am a, a bigger, while I'm a um, I'm more of a Kendrick fan than a Drake. I, if Drake was on his ass, which he was in that Family Matters, and I said that, if niggas peeped the reaction, if Drake was just on his ass, I would one hundred thousand percent say that. But Kendrick on Drake Scully, bro, right now, and um. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised, low key. It's Kendrick Lamar. Like I, like come on. If Drake would have bodied Kendrick straight up, I would have been, I would have been a little surprised. I'm not gonna lie, but it's the fact that that like, come on, man. Kendrick throwing haymakers, mm. 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 throwing haymakers. Come on, bro. Shit crazy. That's the end of this one, though. I'm out of here.